When using document as a trigger in Zipier, you can also set different sets of conditions in order for different actions to happen. So let's say if condition A is met, I want the zap to do this and this. However, if condition B is met, I want the zap to do a different thing, which would be this and that, for example. For this use case, let's take the example of a client engagement letter generator in Document. Let's say I have this client engagement letter generator in Document, which will generate the following documents, but I also want to use this intake to automate my invoicing process based on the user choices in the intake in the fee structure section. So here, at the end of this workflow, the user can select a specific fee structure for the matter of this client, and I want to trigger different actions in my invoicing process based on the choice of the user in this intake. So let's say the user selects an hourly rate, then he can choose if he wants to invoice a retainer or not. I will want to invoice a retainer automatically upon completion of this intake if this is the option chosen. However, if the user selects a flat fee, then I will want to invoice a one-time flat fee at the specific date chosen by the user. Finally, the user could select a monthly subscription, and let's say that for purpose of this example, only one subscription plan is available to clients, then I will want to bill a monthly subscription to my client via my Stripe account. So in order to set this up, let's go in Zapier, and set different actions based on those different conditions. Once I have set up the completion of the client engagement letter workflow in Document as my trigger, I will then add another action in Zapier in order to add different paths based on different conditions. So to do this, I will use the feature called Path by Zapier, which will allow me to set up different rules for different actions to take place. By default, I will have two paths, but in this case, we have three different choices in the intake, so I will add one. Now I will rename them in order to be able to identify which path will lead to each action. Now I am done renaming my paths, so I will want one path to invoice the retainer in case that it's an hourly rate fee structure. I will want one to invoice a flat fee, and I will want the last one to bill a monthly subscription to my client. Now, in order to edit each of these paths, I can go in edit and edit them as I would typically set up my zap. The first thing I have to do when setting up a path in Zapier is set up the path rules. So those are going to be the conditions in order for the next actions in this path to take place. In this case, I'm going to set up the conditions to invoice a retainer. So I only want to invoice my retainer if the fee structure chosen by the user exactly matches the word hourly rate as this is a single select question. And then I will add a cumulative condition in order to invoice the retainer only when the variable retainer is true. Meaning the retainer question is a yes-no question, so the user will be asked, is there a retainer required? And if user select yes to that question, the condition is met and fulfilled, and then I will be able to set up my next action in this zap in order to invoice the retainer amount. So now let's say I'm setting up uh, the next action to be creating an invoice in Zoho Invoice, which is my invoicing platform. And then I'm going to select the specific data from the document intake that I want to import into my Zoho Invoice in order to automate this tab. Once I'm done doing this, I can now close this specific window for this path and go do the same thing in all of the other paths. Once I'm done setting up the two other paths, the conditions would read as follows. In this case, the fee structure is flat fee, then a new invoice will be created in Zoho. And if the fee structure here is a monthly subscription, then a subscription will be created in Stripe. 